Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to It's Rainmaking Time. This is Kim Greenhouse, and we have a most interesting segment today. We have leader Sherry Edwards, who's pioneered and advanced the foundational theories of human bioacoustic vocal profiling and bioacoustic biology. Her techniques have been recognized and incorporated by many healthcare researchers as they attempt to enhance our present healthcare system using biometric-based modalities. She's literally an international leader and pioneer in this area, all about the voice, voice resonance, voice healing, and everything you want to know about sound healing. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to its rainmaking time today, Sherry Edwards. Hi, it is great to be here. I like what you said, all about the voice. I'm going to use that. <laughs> it is. It is all about the voice. Tell me a little bit about what the main revelation is about your work in sound healing and sound health. Well, if I tell you the end, nobody's going to believe it. <laughs> well, that, that's what they say. You know, God says start from the end and then we come to the beginning. So we're really speaking from the future into the present. So you're most welcome to begin from the end. Well, it has two esoteric pieces and it has a couple of scientific pieces and we have one foot in each camp and nobody really claims us, so we're kind of out here on our own. When we look at uh, things that were happening to me and my realizing that I could hear things that other people couldn't, and I was working in a speech and hearing department, and they tested my hearing and found out I can hear beyond the normal vocal range. And I can also reproduce sounds with my voice at normal humans can't. And I'd been using this talent uh, to help people stop their headaches. I could tell when people were telling the truth because when people are lying, there's a jitter, a harmonic in their voice that's not there uh, with a lie. And so you can really tell. So I was being called into uh, court cases and that kind of stuff. And so I began to put this into a computer program because I could hear this stuff in people's voice. That person had diabetes, that person had the same sound, that person probably had diabetes too. So we knew there was also health aspects as well as personality aspects. Okay, that's the esoteric side of the talent. And then uh, a few years ago, Sylvia Fonk wrote a book called The Tree of Life and the Holy Grail. Wow, sounds like a good book. And it's about the Da Vinci Code and how that comes down through our heritage, but also how people can just pick up that information from the ethers. You know, and somebody used to ask me, okay, how did you know this formula to use? Uh, because we also give people back their sounds and sing back to them. And I said, it just fell in my head. Um, like, if I ask you what you had for breakfast, it's probably there. But if I ask you what... <laughs> you mean if what I had for breakfast is in my voice? No, it's, it's in your head. Got what it. you had for breakfast, you know what that is, and it, it's instant, and it's in your head. So if I ask you what you had for supper, you probably kind of, oh, well, I might have this, this, or this. So people would ask me questions, and the answer would just drop in my head. And I would think, oh, oh my God, that sounds really interesting. I need to write that down. <laughs> <laughs> so that explained to me, after Sylvia Frank named me and the information I'm doing, as Sherry Edwards is a modern keeper of the Holy Grail information for health and wellness. I was astounded. I was honored. But that esoteric piece, I, I just never talked about much. My intent was to put this in some kind of package so that anybody could do it because I knew when I died, it was going to die with me. And I knew there was something to it because I just knew things about people, um, the diseases they had, where they were hurting, without them having to explain that. They could say good morning, and I would know what was going on. Can you explain for the lay public who has no experience in any of this, what is bioacoustic biology and what are human bioacoustics, period? Okay, the term human bioacoustics really comes... Uh, molts from the idea of animal bioacoustics that bird whistles and dolphin sounds and frog chirps and all of that tell you something about the animal, their state of health, their, where their environment is. So we just took it a higher step and said, if that's true, 
for animals. It needs to be true for humans. So we created the idea of human bioacoustics. And people really know about this. They just don't know they know it. Think about a young man going through puberty. His voice changed in response to hormones. So we looked at those changes and through 30 years of research, and we've only been in the public eye about 10 years, um, we're able to figure out the genomes, the toxins, the proteins, the nutrition, why, why you gain weight, uh, why you have response to vaccinations, why your blood's clotting too thick, why you have Parkinson's, and on and on and on. And we have those databases now. So we can take a sample right over the phone of people's voice or on the computer, and we can give you a printout. And if people want to go to Nutrasounds, N-U-T-R-A, sounds.com, Nutrasounds, right at the top it says, if you want your voice done, click here. And if they will say, you know, I heard it uh, from Kim, then we'll do it for them for free. Otherwise, they'll charge them. That's amazing. Then I'm going to go out to your site and say I heard it from Kim. <laughs> Well, we can do it for you, but we also are going to provide the opportunity for people to do it for themselves. That's remarkable. Because the software is uh, downloadable. We don't even ask you your email address or anything else. We don't know who downloaded it. We just know that nearly 80,000 people have downloaded it so far. And it's at nano, N-A-N-O, voice. Dot org. Now, Sherry, did you design this software? Or did you help create it? Or I designed it. I did not do the computer uh, coding, but I designed the entire program. So all the attributes and what needs to happen and what needs to be checked and all the aspects. Yes, and Kim, while you were doing your intro, I did your voice. Oh, wow. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> God help us all, everybody. Well, it says that you take everything through your brain uh, and think about it and evaluate it and question it, but it has to be spiritual and it has to be for the people. It has to be manageable. You are very good at making something useful, taking a plan and making it very useful, but you're on the right side of your brain, but that is a left brain trait. So you're probably whole brain. Let's see what the computer says. Wow, this is wild. This is live, everybody. I had no idea this was going to happen. <laughs> okay, your computer program and the nano voice, six little clicks of a button and you can get your report. Wow. Uh, it says, you do for others just because they ask, not because they deserve your time. You do for others more quickly than you do for yourself. Helping others grow emotionally is rewarding to you. You have good intentions about bringing your plans to fruition. You seem disorganized to the casual onlooker, but that's not the, really the truth. You would like more options about your physical surroundings. Having time for inner thought is important to you. You often put others ahead of yourself. Inner dialogue is important to seeing, um, to seeing who you want to be. Any of this sound like you? Yeah, actually it is. And it's a computer. That's not me saying this. This is a computer, and I'll send it to you right after the show. Wow. Is this part of Sonic Apothecary? Sonic Apothecary is a documentary that we did, oh, probably 96. Right. And yes, it's about Sonic Apothecary because we have a machine that people can tune in iron or zinc or whatever else they want. Yeah, some people are even tuning in medications. Now, when you say tuning in medications, say what you mean by that. For someone who has no frame of reference, Say what you mean by tuning into medications, and then I also want you to explain what frequency is, because it's so used metaphysically and in other areas that I think it's confused, that term. Okay, everything on the planet has a frequency. People have watched uh, some of these crime shows, and they take a little drip of something, put in a little bottle and put in a centrifuge, and up comes this graph, and it tells you what frequencies of the elements that are inside of whatever that is 